Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, I'm EVM and this is my new toy! It's a thermal imaging camera which I'm hoping will save me some money! Okay, that's a little bit of a stretch, but it could genuinely save money in terms of heat loss. So you would use it to find the cold spots of the house and then plug them up if you can, you know, if there's a bit of missing insulation in the ceiling for example, get that sorted out, then you would use less energy, you would spend less money heating your house and so forth. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not really gonna go down the line of saying, this is gonna pay for itself. These aren't cheap. This is the cheapest one in the range and it was about 230 odd pounds. I don't think I'll be saving that even in the next decade, given what it's found already. And it has found a few things which I was unaware of. So it, it's done its job. It's just buying it as an individual is quite a tough sell for this specific purpose. I think it's probably better as something that you would buy as a, as a collective. So four or five households kind of cobble together, use it for all the houses, and then maybe sell it on or something like that. That's not too bad, but I've got one anyway, because obviously I can get content for the channel, and to also see what I can spot in the house in terms of, am I losing heat that was less obvious, that I was unaware of essentially. first place I want to start is here. Now, as you can sort of see behind this settee, there used to be a fireplace there. There's a, there's a dark spot going up there. That'll be the flue, that'll be the fireplace that was just boarded over with plasterboard and there's no insulation behind it. So there's a little bit of heat loss there. And if we ever do anything with that wall, then that would be a good time to do it. So that's one thing which I've spotted, but I can't really do anything about. I'm not gonna tear that wall down and get the plaster redone just for that little bit of insulation. As I said earlier, I think if we ever do anything with that wall, then that would be the time to do it, and now we're aware of it. So let's see if we can find something a little more obvious and cheaper to fix. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I missed this over the years. This is a picture of the from the camera beforehand, and you can clearly see here that there's a colder spot than the rest of the ceiling. There's a lot of insulation up there, but here it's just, a piece of wood and if I take that down it is literally just that. I don't know how this had never occurred to me before but at least it was an easy fix. Essentially I found some insulation that you'd normally put underneath laminate flooring, put a couple of layers of that on, we had some spare carpet from a recent install, nailed that to it and job done for nothing. No cost to myself, reuse, reduce, recycle, all that sort of stuff. And as you can see from this picture now, it's a lot better. It's a nice even color, as it were. Again, it's it's no cost. So that was an easy fix that um, we got done. <laughs> Automatic lights, aren't they brilliant? Now, if you look at this part here on a previous image, when I had a camera for a few days, about two years ago, you can see that there was a big cold spot and it went quite far over that way. Now there's a metal beam essentially going the length of this house, side of the house and the other side as well. Not much I can do about that. But what that told me, considering how deep it went into the, the rest of the ceiling, was that there was a problem with insulation. So we lifted the boarded up loft, which has been raised, so there's enough up there. But then I found that whoever boarded it hadn't pushed the insulation all the way to the end. That again, simple job, lift the boarding up, sort out the insulation, I had enough spare dotted around to, again, for it to be a no cost option. And now it looks a lot better. So this is before, and now this is afterwards. So there's a clear difference there, and that has made a significant change, not just to this room, but to the whole house. I mean, if you think about it, that's at least, it's just over a foot deep into the ceiling. That's not just this room, it goes the length of this house. So it's a few rooms there and about one and a half rooms on the other side at the front of the house. And I've tried to kind of think, well, if that's a footish deep and then it's as long as the house on both sides, you're looking at effectively the square footage of this room, pretty much, of this entire room, as if it had no insulation above it. Now you might not think that that made a big difference, but if I had no insulation above this room, I would notice that. So I think that is something which will genuinely save 
a reasonable amount of money. I mean, over the next, let's say, decade, quite a wedge. I mean, it's going to be impossible to figure out how much, but noticeably in terms of heat loss. As you can see there, it's a garage door, partially closed. There's another garage just to the right of me here. Now, our garages are beneath the house. They're integral garages. So even though it's a three-story house, the bottom floor is just garage space and an extra room. Oh God, it's freezing out there. What we did is replace both garage doors for two reasons. One, thermal efficiency, of course, and two, security, because we did have a break-in and this would have happened either way. Now, here's a picture of the previous doors that we had that were essentially just standard up and over doors, thin piece of metal that had literally a centimetre gap all around, all four sides. It was like having a window open permanently to both garages. We lost a tremendous amount of heat. Heat will get drawn from the house above down into here and straight out of that garage door. So the previous garage doors, look at this. It's basically just dark blue. It's the, the heat is just flying out of the house and that has made a massive difference. As I said, we'd have done it anyway for security reasons, because this is far more secure, it's sealed around the edges, and it's about as thermally efficient as you reasonably get from a garage door. So you used to be able to walk down the steps, in winter of course, and feel the drop in temperature immediately, even though there's a door in between the garages and the rest of the house. Now, although you still lose heat through these, they're not, they're not as good as a wall or anything, it's made a big enough difference so when you walk down here you don't really feel a sudden drop it's just a, it's just a minor little drop i'd say i am quite convinced that over the lifespan of a garage door what's that going to be i don't know 20 years 25 years that I, I have no idea they will save more in terms of heat especially given the cost of energy now than they cost to install as well as the added security and other benefits that we'd have done anyway but the thermal camera shows again this before and now what it looks like afterwards. Still a heat loss, but much, much better. Right now I'm in the kitchen, of course. Underneath this laminate flooring is a little bit of insulation, sound deadening, and then you get to the floorboards, and in between the floorboards you've got the uh, insulation between the garage I just showed you a minute ago. So there's a barrier there. The, 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 it's, it's a different thermal envelope here to the heat sink beneath that's a garage directly beneath this floor. Now, underneath, or behind rather, these plinths here, it's just floorboard. There's no laminate, there's no insulation beneath the laminate, which will have a thermal effect in itself. And you can see in this picture here, there's clearly a dark spot going along the entire plinth area. That's telling me that I'm losing heat through all this area there, and then it's going down into the garage because I've just got floorboards. So this laminate flooring stops just like an inch beneath the plinth, or behind the plinth rather. So when we redo this kitchen, because it's the last room we haven't touched since we moved in, that flooring or whatever flooring we put in will be going all the way to the edge, even though we will never use it because that's clearly having an effect. It's never occurred to me before that underneath the kitchen cupboards, we're gonna lose heat. Of course we are. It's part of the thermal envelope of the house. It's, part of the kitchen, this isn't gonna stop the heat disappearing down into the garage. And I mean, I guess I could take the plinths off and put something down myself, but I'm hoping we'll be doing something with the kitchen in the near future. So again, that's something which never really occurred to me before, which the camera has caught. All right then, I am done. And this little thing has served its purpose, but what do we do with it now? Because once you've kind of done your house, once you've gone around everywhere, it doesn't really have a purpose for the majority of people around. So again, at 240 quid, it's a bit of a, a big ask for, to make a suggestion that people go out and buy one. And I should point out that I have just gone out and bought this. this is, there's no sponsorship involved here. I just wanted to make the house as, as efficient as possible, thermally anyway. I think the best thing to, to do now for me is to pass this around to as many people as possible that I know, you know, Harry, for example, he's gonna be using it so they can do the same thing for their house because the more houses that get use of it, the cheaper it becomes per household, I guess. If you are interested in buying one though and you think, well, yeah, I don't want one of those, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Just make sure you get the right one if you want this specific model because they do one for iOS or Apple phones and one for Android. Make sure you get the right connector. 
Other than that though, I think I'm done. Um, yeah, has anybody else watching this done the same thing? Octopus, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they used to lend out these things, which is how I got it a few years back. Um, so people could essentially do this because that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Would it be better if you could rent these things for, well, I don't know, how much would you pay for this? 20, 30 quid at a time? It's hard to say really, but the more of a rental thing out there than, than go and buy your own, unless you like playing Predator and screaming, get to the chopper, to your wife who uh, doesn't get the reference whatsoever. So, uh, thanks for watching. I will see you soon and uh, let me know what you think. Is this just anal thermal efficiency taken to a stupid level or is it actually something that has worked for you? If you've got one of these and it spotted something that was really, really difficult or impossible to know without it, then please do let me know. Have they justified their existence in your house? Right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.